Hello and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac and the current adventures of Eve. Last time we killed a giant fat person and we've managed to be basically about as fast as anyone can ever be in this game, which is pretty good. And we're gonna go kill some stuff, because that's what we do. I mean, we are very out, very low on health. And when I say very low on health, we are now one hit away from dying, because I just failed to dodge the tiniest little worm creature in the world, which is just sickening. Look, we need some health, like a... Oh my word! Why did it fire so quickly? It never does that! You disgusting creature. Burn in a pit. Ah, uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to restart, because we just immediately died. So while Eve is really cool and all, I don't know about her. I think we're gonna go with Lazarus again, because Lazarus just continues to be, like, the best ever. And we're gonna continue to try to get Cain, which requires basically not buying anything ever, because, you know, I just casually do that. Welcome back, Lazarus. We just had a little chat. Oh my word, really? Immediately? Lust? Oh my goodness. No, get out of here, Lust. Right. We want to stick close to this inner circle because Lust is really about being really freaking fast, which is just annoying. I mean, annoying and at the same time, exceptionally incredibly dangerous. So, you know, it's not really just annoying. Okay, looks like we got a couple pills. Let's take our pills. Oh, range down. Tears up. I guess that's not the end of the world. I mean, we at least got some form of increase in damage. I believe tears up is, in fact, rate of fire, so we've increased our rate of fire, which is definitely one way to increase damage, assuming that, you know, we actually hit things. It's a small thing. Just a small complication in the whole we're trying to do um, as much damage as possible, but, you know... Look, we're working on it. Oh, just a bunch of flies. You know, I kind of like the first level. The first level is nice. Not very many things are really trying to kill you. It's just kind of like you can just casually move through it. Oh, we got the reroll again. Hello, reroll dice. This reroll dice is actually pretty useful. Assuming that you reroll into something that isn't like, I don't know, Cthulhu himself. Because that would definitely be pretty bad. I don't want to, like, I don't know, roll flies and then re-roll into uh, the master of all unknowable objects, our lord and savior Cthulhu. Well, I, I don't know if you can actually call Cthulhu ever your savior. I don't think that's a thing. He's just our lord Cthulhu. Um, so that, that would definitely be bad, but... I think for the most part, it's a pretty good upgrade. Ooh, a fork? Consume thy enemy. Hey, check it out. It's a special rock. I mean, we don't have a bomb for it, so we can't exactly explode said special rock, but we did see it, and I mean, I guess seeing is believing, question mark? Is that what we're gonna take? Oh my word, no. No, 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 no. Oh. How did we dodge all of that? I mean, I just got thrown into, like, the middle of a bunch of poops. I don't even know exactly how I got pushed in there, but I do feel as though I was pushed. Maybe I just walked in. I don't even know. Maybe my short-term memory is worse than I believe it to be. Perhaps we have a serious issue. Because if my short-term memory is so short that I can't even remember whether or not I got pushed or walked into a wall, I think we have a small problem. M well, n not necessarily us. I mean, Lazarus definitely has a small problem. And I'm pretty sure I do too, but... Outside of that, I don't think you guys have a small problem. I think that would actually maybe be good for you because I don't know about you, but short-term memory loss could potentially make for some pretty absurd content. Who knows? I mean, I'm not going to be that guy, but just saying, short-term memory loss people playing video games? Question mark? No, no, that's not a thing. Don't do that. That's bad. You're not supposed to You're not supposed to laugh at that. You're not so ow. Okay, I deserve that. You know why I deserve that? Because I'm a horrible person. That's why I deserve that. Monstro, stop throwing up. Just come over here. Come on, you know that you're a pathetic enemy. Hey, if we hit the re-roll right now, would it re-roll what boss we got? Is that a thing? I mean, I'm not going to do it because we got the best boss that we could possibly hope for. 
I mean, Monstro is the most pathetic thing in the world. Would you stop just vomiting all over the place, Monstro? This is not appreciated in the slightest. You're supposed to just hop around and pretend to be cool. Because your vomit isn't even like a legitimate attack. The only reason I've even gotten injured here, and I don't even think I was hit by Monstro. I was hit by his little lackey because his lackeys are more dangerous than he is. Jeez. Get out of here, mate. Yeah, there we go. That's what you deserve, Monstro. Oh, the safety pin. What does this do? Evil range and shot speed up. Oh, and we have a safety pin in our head. Yeah, that is a small thing. I mean, generally, it's not a good thing to have a safety pin in your head. I would say, um, cerebral damage. Just, just, just mentioning the whole, you know, maybe y your brain is not doing as well as it could once you have a safety pin in your, like, cranium. It appears that we're actually, by the way, in a cursed place that is uh, not allowing us to use a map. Also, we're fighting a dude with a very, very toned bot. I, I just had to put that out there because it is true. I mean, if you... I've already pointed this out in the past, but these dudes have the most firm and toned of butts in this game. Oh my god. Why does everything have to show up in the middle of a, like, container of pits? I can't get through there. I really want to pick up all those items, but I get nothing. We get nothing, people! Why do we get nothing? Why does the world hate us? Lazarus didn't do anything to the world outside of, I don't know, probably did something pretty bad to be in this situation, actually. So I take that back. Lazarus probably did something really bad to the world, but, you know, you can't blame Lazarus for that, unless, of course, I mean, I say that. We have no clue what terrible thing Lazarus did to get into this position. It was probably pretty bad, though, so we can probably blame him for it. You know, I was gonna try to, like, be like, uh, we aren't to blame for this, but in the end, I, I think there is a lot of blame to go around. And perhaps we should be the ones to throw that blame into random places. Ah, uh, okay, Lazarus, you got it under control. By the way, do you notice the uh, clever usage of the TNT bucket there? Yeah, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I used uh, environmental damage to uh, my own benefit, so uh, just saying that was uh, pretty cool, P pretty good stuff, you know? Eh? Eh? No? No? That's like standard gameplay? Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever, people. Look, I just wanted one thing. I wanted to feel happy. I wanted to feel good about myself because we're in some sort of terrible demonic lair that is filled with misshapen children who are trying to kill us. And generally, I don't count that as, like, the best thing in the world. Generally, that's what is defined as a fairly traumatic experience. So, you know, it's just a small thing. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna go down here. Hello? Have we seen the actual item room yet? I mean, we definitely haven't gone in, because we need a key to get into an item room at this point. And we 100% certainly do not have a key right now, and have not actually had a key for this entire game, because the universe hates us, and has decided to put every key in the middle of some completely unreachable area. Because, once again, the universe hates Lazarus. <sighs> Lazarus has the hardest life of us all. That's not true. There are definitely people with a harder life than Lazarus. Although, I mean... <sighs> If we take at least the small slice of life we've seen from Lazarus so far, which is this terrible dungeon area, I'm pretty sure there aren't that many people who have a worse life, because this is pretty bad. It's, it's definitely up there on the uh, scales of terrible places. Hello, nematodes. How you doing? Oh, my word. Get out of my face, nematodes. You're all dead. Take that. Ooh. Faith up. You know, I, r I would really rather consume thy enemy. That sounds so much cooler. Do we still not have a key? Do we also still not have a bomb? Lazarus? Lazarus, try harder to find stuff, please. Please, Lazarus, just just, just for me. Just, just, just that small thing, please. No, 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 you don't have to, like, I don't know, cha change your life or anything. You just have to maybe be half decent to what you do, Lazarus. Ah, uh, jeez. 
<coughs> oh. Anyway, I guess with Lazarus being basically the worst at finding anything, that will bring us for now to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will actually go up against this boss because it is quite clear that we cannot get into any other form of room that is in this dungeon right now because we have no keys. We have no bombs with which to get keys. We can't fly, which is, I mean, how many people can fly? Not very many people can fly. It's not the biggest thing to complain about, but I mean, Lazarus would really like to fly. And uh, yeah, we're just doomed to a slow death, probably via terrible brain damage caused by the safety pin that's currently in Lazarus's head. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.